my colleague and I will be discussing the issue of gender. Isn't that right, Brian? That's right, Baz. I'll just explain the term gender for the girls in the room. It means what sex you are, a boy or a girl. Thanks for clearing that up, that's Brian. No problem. These terms are a little difficult for girls to understand. I'd like to ask Brian to start us off on the differences between boys and girls. All those little differences that make us so, well, different. Over to you, Brian. Thanks, Baz. Well, the differences between boys and girls are obvious from the beginning. As babies, boys are bigger, stronger, and pick things up very quickly, whereas girls just tend to lie there for the first few months, dribbling and looking like what they are, the weaker sex. Which is the term we still use for girls, isn't it, Brian? The weaker sex. That's right, Baz. And this idea of being the weaker sex is soon taken on by the girls. In nursery school or just within the home, girls are quite happy playing with dolls or making imaginary tea in plastic tea services, whereas boys are running around, building Lego, playing sports, and generally doing more important and constructive things. Isn't that right, Baz? It certainly is, Brian. At school, girls are more interested in learning to cook and sew, to paint a picture, make a blouse. That is, learn things which will be of use to them in their adult lives. You mean when they become wives and mothers, yes? That's right, because all girls are really interested in is looking after men and children. Right you are, Baz. I mean, they will need to know a bit of English so that they can read books to their children, and they will need to know a bit of maths for when it comes to doing the shopping. But as I say, Baz, they don't need to know anything more than that. Thanks for cleaning up that point, Brian. No problem, Baz.